This week in movies, we are talking about Adventureland and Fast and Furious. Almost a the. Can't yeah. have thes. Fast and Furious. Right. But we're going to start off with Adventureland. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, so Adventureland is being advertised as, uh, you know, from the director of Superbad. Yeah. And uh, that certainly is true, but uh, Greg Mottola actually started out in the height of the indie scene with a quirky family drama dramedy called Day Trippers that oh, is an awesome, yeah, awesome yeah, yeah, movie yeah. if you've never seen it. Leo Schreiber yeah. and Hope Davis and mm -hmm. all those people. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's a great hysterical movie. And then he went on to direct a lot of Arrested Development episodes. Best comedy um, movie. And some, some of the, a lot of season one. And uh, and then, you know, he did Super Bad and, and he did this movie, Adventureland. Yeah. Which also stars... Um, uh, which, which stars Jesse Eisenberg, who's yeah. also a big indie darling dude. He was in Squid and the Whale. He was in one of my favorites, uh, Roger Dodger. Yep. Oh, um, oh that's, that that's where I remember him from. It's a great movie. Um, and it's about uh, Jesse Eisenberg plays a, a kid who's just graduating high school and is set to go to Columbia University. His father loses some income, and he has to get a summer job working at... Uh, the crappy amusement park. And this right. is in 1987. And this is set in 1987. In Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh. <laughs> the Pits. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. My home. Boomsy woomsy. Um, uh, Jeffrey, what did you think of Adventureland? Well, you know, uh, basically the movie is, is a one of those coming of age love stories. And it is... Um, it is a very played out concept, I think, of of the over intellectual uh, nerdy guy. nerdy kid <laughs> who meets the emotionally damaged, sexually promiscuous, uh, but perfect in every way for him, uh, intellectually responsive female, and she's so damaged, and he, you know, learns about himself by meeting her. Right, very much a played out concept because I think a lot of times people who tend to write scripts lived through that. Um, I feel like I, watching this movie, I lived through that in high school. Um, you know, substitute an amusement park for a movie theater and it's very similar to an experience that I had growing up. And I think that that's what's so great about this movie is that I think a lot of people are gonna look at it and feel like, man, it really captures that feeling I had. I think mm. despite the fact that it is a very played out concept, it's a really wonderful movie. I think there's great performances. Um, Kristen Stewart is, is wonderful. From I Twilight. Think, yeah, I think, um, oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Ryan old, Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds yeah. really knocks it out of the park. Some of the best stuff Ryan great. Has ever done. I, I, I found myself watching this longing to return to that time of my life. Yeah, yeah. And I will predict right now it's the Best movie Dan will see all year. Anyway, uh, well, I, or his 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 favorite movie. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say I was not looking forward to seeing this movie um, because of the fact that it was advertised as from the guy who did Superbad, and most of the stuff in the trailer is just not all that funny. Uh, so I was really nervous to see this movie because I did not think that it could not just live up. I mean, I didn't love Superbad at all. Watching it again, it kind of goes, oh yeah, that's great. Um, Mm. That said, uh, the first, it, take, it took a while for me to get into it because I was going in with this mindset of it, it was good, a good 15 minutes into the movie before anybody in the audience, not just me, anybody laughed. Right. But it's and, not a straight up comedy like Superbad. No, but that's what it was pitched to me. So I'm sitting there going, there's nothing funny about this movie. So once I broke through that, and if you go see this movie, which I think you should, because it ends up being a very, very sweet uh, uh, movie that is funny and awkward and <laughs> amazingly fun to watch, um, that, that is not a straight up dry, you know, laugh riot, you know, Fairly Brothers comedy. You know what I mean? Like it's not super bad at all. It's a, it is a great movie. I, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad that we got to see it. Um, I, the trailer does not do this movie justice because the trailer just takes those moments that are th theoretically the big laughs, slams them together and goes, look, it's like super bad. 
Right. And it's like, no, it's not. It's not even all that funny. What? This looks horrible. I didn't want to see it. So, but you should see it. I liked it a lot. It's funny. Um, I remember feeling the exact same way about the trailer for Nick and Nora. As the, the yeah. trailer for Nick and Nora yes. did not make it look good at all, and then it ended up being my favorite movie it, of the year. This felt a lot like Nick and Nora. And I also loved. It. You guys were dead on. I mean, I freaking. Loved. I could see a lot this of young Danny like, Trachtenberg yeah, and I mean, Dan Dan the story. Yeah. yeah. And this is. Yeah, and, and like you, like. I, I, there's so many moments that look that were directly lifted from personal yeah. experience. Even even though I didn't do the same things, it's like it just felt like the the sentiment where it's yeah. exactly how I felt. And you felt few, like you were there. There were a few yeah. moments that were like I lived through that moment. Um, <laughs> but you know, I, 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 stuff, I, I do right? want to say too that I, I do want to say too that um, I ended up really enjoying Super Bad. I just want to take this opportunity to say that I ended up yeah, when we watched Super Bad. I loved it. So, yeah. I mean, I love it now. Um, but, uh, you know, the wonderful thing about the movie is that it, the opening moment is the most, you know, we've seen the opening moment happen. A guy trying to talk to a girl that he thinks is, might be in, or thought was under, yeah. you know. Yeah. We've seen that moment a million times in movies, but the way it is shot, and the way, it's the opening shot of the movie, and the way it is performed makes it the most honest, sincere, yeah. Truth, uh, you know, yeah. s saying moment as if you had never seen it before, and we have seen it tons. And of And there times. were lots of those scenes, like the moment when they had the first, like when they had their blow, up, their big blow up in in the street, and it's like awkward and weird and not well written on purpose. You know what I mean? Like it was like the uncomfortable awkwardness that you have when you're confronting somebody yeah. at that age, where you're that, like, that was you intense, uh, man. I, no, but man. in a way that was very realistic. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And not your classic. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that you guys liked Ryan Reynolds because I would oh, describe I myself great. as a hardcore Ryan Reynolds fan. And I thought he was miscast in the Here's movie. Here's the reason. I no, I brilliant. know exactly why the reason is. I don't like Ryan Reynolds. I think he's an overacting ham. Hmm. So when I see him in a part that's actually subtle and subdued, it's good. Like, yeah. all of his comedies are so, like, brr, brr, for me that it can and bring up one thing? ruin things mm -hmm. like Blake. Uh, well, two things. First of all, I think Kristen Stewart is going to be a massive movie star. Yeah. For, she kind, she for, kind of already for the long is. Term. I, the dude, long term. Yeah. She's going to be 10, 15 years from now, she's going to still be making big, yeah. big movies. Secondly, I want to bring up something, and maybe we should uh, go into spoiler cam for this, because I want to talk about the end. Mm -hmm. Then we should go into spoilers. Yeah. Spoiler cam it is. <laughs> um, when the aliens I, came? I, I understand you can't make a mainstream American film that doesn't have a happy end, ending. A happy ending. Yeah, Hollywood but ending. Man, would I have loved this movie so much more. I, I really like the movie, but I would have loved this movie so much more is if we had never had any of the New York stuff at the end. If it had just, because that's how life I, is. I what agree. life is, is you'd have that experience with that girl, it doesn't work out, she goes away, and you always think about her in a weird way, but you learned from it, and, and not being with her, not having it work out, makes you a better person. I have forgotten how much I disliked the ending to this movie, which yeah. says a lot about how much I loved the movie. Yeah, I agree. Um, that, and the ending reeked to me, and I could be very wrong, of re I felt like they had reached shot that ending yes. a bajillion times. Well, you obviously yeah. can't put out, a, I mean, they won't fund a film that doesn't have some sort of uplift. Well, that's they have true. tons of movies. I mean, in a way, yeah. you know what I'm saying. And this also was a very independently spirited movie. Yeah. And, and it, well, but from the guy Miramax, from Superman, I mean, might be, no, no, he, if she had just left and, and he had just had to Agreed. deal with that and yeah. it would have had so much more resonance for me and, yeah. it, you know, would have felt so much truer. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, you know, oh, and anyway, let's talk should, real quick, move on, and then we'll move guys, on. But we got to talk about the supporting cast, dude. The guy from the AT T Wireless commercial, Rico, a, Frigo, Frigo, or Frigo. Frigo. Brilliant. Yeah. That guy was. He's a guy hysterical. who I knew. I, I was friends with that guy in middle school. And of course, it wasn't fun. I mean, yeah. I'm in love with Christine Wiig. Uh, yeah. He, in love the with her. really funny but, thing. I don't find her funny. Oh, I think her shtick is. is so like overdone. But oh, she's but wonderful. John Hader or not John Hader. Bill Hader. Bill Hader. He is freaking money, dude. Yeah. Anyway, all right, let's talk about the next one. Okay. Time.